Okay, hi everybody. This lecture is about what you need to know about cholesterol. Okay, normal blood cholesterol is 150. That is total cholesterol. Out of all the laboratory tests and all the medicine, this is the most important one to know. Total, total, it's total. Total cholesterol should be 150 or less. What is that data based on? Oh, by the way, why do I say not 200? I say not 200 because if you look at most medical charts, you'll see it listed as 200 being normal blood cholesterol. Yeah, that's normalized based on a fat, high cholesterol population of meat eaters who are most likely going to die from atherosclerosis. You don't want to be in that group. Normal cholesterol based on healthy people with low risk of atherosclerosis, myocardial infarction, and stroke, normal cholesterol is 150. What studies is that based on? Look at the Framingham study data. That's from Framingham, Massachusetts. They got over 60 years of data. Total cholesterol less than 150 almost never have a myocardial infarction, okay? What else? Esselstyn's data. Take a look at the family practice paper. I think it's like July 2014. All right, Esselstyn's data. He had lots of patients, you know, his, his more recent study, 200 patients or 198 patients. And when they kept the total cholesterol below 150, 99.4 never had a recurrent coronary artery event. And that one patient that did was a patient who didn't really follow the diet. So it's essentially zero. If you keep your total cholesterol below 150, you're highly protected. By the way, I would give you three categories of adults. And I think this is relevant to make sense of the numbers. Young adults up to about age 35, they're relatively protected because the body has a lot of reserve, a lot of elastic fibers in the ascending thoracic aorta, for example, a lot of endothelial precursor stem cells. But after that, middle age, 35 to let's say about 55, you had better get your act together or you're screwed because you still have a little reserve left at that age. And if you start eating healthy, getting your sleep, exercising, avoiding caffeine and other toxic things, you could still be really healthy. But if you don't, you destroy all your reserve. You lose the elastic fibers in your ascending thoracic aorta. You lose your endothelial precursor cells. Your, your endothelial it means blood lining stem cells. And then what happens is you'll trash your ascending thoracic aorta. You'll lose all your elastic fibers and you can no longer maintain diastolic flow and you're going to have systolic hypertension the rest of your life. Because I see a lot of old people and they'll have a normal cholesterol. They'll have a cholesterol of 140, but they still have myocardial infarction and strokes. And that's because they've trashed all the reserve. They were unhealthy all through their middle age. And you can't fix that. You can't get those elastic fibers in your ascending thoracic aorta after 28 years of age. So you got to get your act together before you're 40 or you're kind of screwed. All right. And what does get your act together means? It means eat as close to 100% plant-based as you can with no oil and minimize caffeine. All right. But especially avoiding the meat. That's the most important thing. Number two most important thing is, eat, is avoiding the oil. All right. Other things help too. Lower your sodium, et cetera. But all right. What are my total cholesterol? Just so you get an idea of a plant-based eater, what the kind of numbers they have. My total cholesterol is 93. Okay. My LDL cholesterol is 53, triglycerides 85. So these are real numbers from when you eat a plant-based diet. If you're eating meat and stuff, people try to fix their cholesterol by taking medications. You can do that, but why not go for the best thing? A typical person, their standards of health are, well, gee, at least I'm not as fat as my cousin, okay? Well, that's kind of, I think, pathetic, mediocre, and stupid. You should say to yourself, I want to be as healthy as I can be. I want to be the best I could be. I'm 57. I got no medical problems. Everything works upstairs and downstairs. That's what you want. You don't want to just be not as pathetic as the, you know, the other person, all right? And these are, again, the kind of numbers you get in a plant-based diet. You'll never get these numbers if you're eating meat and oil and junk food. All right? These numbers are about as good as you'll ever hear in your life. Okay, these are all the things that cause atherosclerosis, increase sat fat and cause atherosclerosis. Uh, even monounsaturated fatty acids, PUFAs, also increase risk of atherosclerosis. We'll talk about that in another lecture. Um, but one point I'll make is the carotid arteries to the brain, those are about six millimeters. The coronary arteries in the heart, they're about three millimeters in diameter. The pudendals, which go down to the Johnson, about 1.5 millimeters. And the point being is atherosclerosis along the wall of these vessels, mural atherosclerosis it's called, it doesn't take much to plug up the pudendal arteries going down to the Johnson. So a lot of guys are going impotent in their 40s. I see tons of guys asking for Viagra in their 30s and their 40s. You know, that's ridiculous. In a plant-based community, you got guys who have no problem with the Johnson in their 70s and 80s, okay? So you want to keep those little arteries open. Anyways, what's the most important point in this lecture? Keep your total cholesterol below 150. Get your act together before you're 40 years of age because the longer you wait, the harder it is to reverse and prevent problems.